Hey guys, um, it's Prayer. I'm sorry I'm eating like a mint right now, but I just wanted to make this video. I wanted to eat a mint. Uh, it's been it's a nice day today. Uh, it's the first time since I think uh, daylight savings. So basically, it becomes nighttime much quicker now, which is a bit depressing. Um, I like it when it's day for long. But ever ever since it's been like daylight saving, it's been like really cloudy and rainy and whatnot. And so it sort of felt like, you know, the days were much shorter and everything was just like more dark and gloomy or whatever. But it's a it was a really nice day today. I didn't get to experience much of it because I was working eleven till four. Not too long, but yeah, missed a chunk of the day. But I'm looking outside now and like the stars are out, it's really pretty. And like it's not too hot. I mean not too cold. Um so yeah, it's nice to see that. Um that you can still have beautiful days even though the sun goes away much quicker. Anyway, what have I been up to today? Since I was working today I didn't do too much. Last what was it, two days? Because I think I made a video three days ago. So I've been, yeah, I said I've been working on that, that script, um, the really simple one. Basically, I took a break from it because it was just frying my brain, thinking about the same thing over and over again. And, you know, with this new, it's still new, I guess. I feel like I've really started script writing uh, into probably mid-2019. When I really just like, okay, I knew, start of 2018, I was like, I want to be a filmmaker. And then I tried networking myself into, like, getting on a, a film set. Um, I did that, and I worked as a, you know, background, what was it? At, like, documenting, like, photos and videos, and I didn't enjoy it. Tried a few other projects, tried freelance filmmaking, and I was like, I do not, I hated it. Um... And I was like, do I want to become a cinematographer? Do I want to become, a, become like an all-round vlogger, YouTube type guy? Do I want to... Anyway, I came to the fact that the thing I love most about film is story. And that took me like a year and a bit to understand. And yeah, it's. I think I picked the right thing and I love it. Um, but anyway, so on this, you know, relatively new journey... About a year into it. Um, I've. You know. I, I've bounced between a lot of things. But. I'm trying not to beat myself up. For not finishing a script. All at, in one go. Because. I think the. You know I was listening to Dr. K. And he, he talks about. How we. Expect everyone to learn in a certain way. Sorry, finish eating this. But we don't look. We look at all people like their mind is the same. Even though we know people have a, a completely different. Well, no, no. We we look at people and they're like everyone's completely different. But when it but we don't think that when it comes to learning. And he was saying that like. We try to apply the same learning module to everyone, and then those that can't do it, we just deem as stupid, and um, those that can do it, you know, they're the smart ones or whatever. But he was saying, like, people learn in very different ways, and he was saying, because he failed, basically, out of school, when he was, like, 20, out of university, and then went to an ashram for seven years in India, and then study to become a doctor after that, um, and then s settled on psychiatry, I think, uh, there's less than a therapist, or, yeah, anyway, but he's saying, like, what he, he figured out was, basically, what he, when he went to school, what he did is, he was doing, like, 10 different things, 10, 15 different things, he was, like, in all the extracurricular activities, he was in all the yeah, he was just doing tons and tons of stuff. And then he was failing. And his dad was like, 
hey, just do nothing but focus on your course. Like, just 100% focus on your course. But he still failed. And basically, and then he failed out of school. And then he went to India. And basically, when he was in India, he talked to a guy. And the guy was, like, laughing because he was, like, um, because he, like, they have different words for, like, personalities and stuff. And he was, like, your personality isn't suited to just do one thing. Like, the best thing you can do is just uh, go back and, if you're to study, is you want to do as many things as you can uh, while still being able to um, focus, while still keeping your grades up. So you want to juggle as many balls as you can um, before dropping it. Um, and that's how you'll learn the best. And then he did that and he learned really well. And basically, they have these personalities, which is Vata, Pita, and Dosha. It's like Sanskrit words. And it's like, I'm not sure, they're, 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 they're like a com combination of like the four elements, earth, wind, uh, earth and fire. Uh, earth, I don't know. Earth, wind, water, fire. I don't know exactly what the characteristics of each of them are. But he said Vata's like wind and something else. I'm not sure what the other thing is. Um, and he says he's a Vata. So wind likes to jump around to a lot of things. Um, anyway, I'm not explaining it right. If you want to search up Dr. K on YouTube, he talks about it. I think like his third video. Anyway, I, I figured out like I'm more of a, a Dosha, I think, when it comes to learning. Which is I like to just... The best way for me is it takes me much longer than other people to learn. But once I get something, it's like, I get it good. And I think that makes sense. I always take a long time to learn things. But I feel like, I don't know, I get interested in like one thing for a long period of time. And, you know, I get good at it, I guess. I don't know that yet. But what I found with when I started studying... Originally, I put like 20 things on my list of like, hey, I'm going to do this, do this, do this, do this. But what I found is I basically just need to cut. When I studied the best is when I cut everything out. And I just had this one thing that I was focusing on, which is, you know, okay, I'm studying Joseph Campbell now. Or I'm writing this, this story now. I'm writing this story now. And I needed like everything in like very small steps. So I could just ponder on that one small step and then complete that. And so, yeah, anyway, yeah, I found that's the best way for, for me to learn. What I found recently is like, but I, he says everyone's a combination. It's not like you're just a solid dosha or you're a solid uh, vata. You've got different levels of them. And what I'm trying out now is I'm just like, okay, I'm going to do this for a week or until I like, can't do it anymore. And then I'm going to switch over and do something else like like um just w focus on another one thing for like a week or however it's only it takes so that's a long explanation of saying i'm just like switching for a moment back to what i was working before the um the script which was analyzing joseph campbell's book a hero of the thousand faces and that's been going well um i basically written a paragraph so what I did, I don't know if I said this in my vlogs, for every paragraph I wrote the uh, thesis, main ideas, and and material I'm familiar with. Uh, basically because I tried reading that book twice before and I just couldn't because there were so many different words and, you know, I, I, I couldn't keep all, like, I find it hard because sometimes I feel like I just read and like my mind is somewhere else. I'm just like daydreaming about something and then I don't actually take in the information. So writing the information down and like, okay, I got these main ideas down. Uh, it make, would make sure that my mind wasn't wandering. So I did that for like all a thousand. I think there was, I, can't, I, I didn't calculate it well. But I'm thinking like three paragraphs a page on average and then there's like 350 pages. So like over a thousand paragraphs. And so it took a pretty long time, like maybe like a hundred or two hundred hours. Um, but now I'm doing an essay on each of the chapters. I did the first one, and 
the reason I stopped is when I got to the second one, it was too complicated. Um, I was, I was talking about tragedy and comedy, uh, and the guy who came out with that was Aristotle and his book Poetics. Um, the Poetics, I don't know, which is like the name they had for storytelling, and I could not understand that. Like, why is yeah? I couldn't understand what tragedy and comedy had to do with anything, or why they're significant. Um, and I watched a bit of stuff about Aristotle, and I was like, I don't want to read his book because it's probably going to be more complicated than Joseph Campbell's book. So, I basically just stopped doing it. And then I actually shifted from doing that to analyzing John Peterson. And John Peterson's really good because he takes like Jungian or Joseph Campbell's ideas, and he like is very good at explaining it. It's one of his best talents. It's just taking very complex ideas and then connecting it to like real world. Because what he's really good at is taking like psychological concepts, which are very, or spiritual concepts, which are very woo woo, um, and then linking it with like biology or neurology or whatever. So, or like psych scientific studies and stuff, which is really nice. Um, so I was watching him, and then he, in was it maps and meaning? Yeah, in his first. Lecture on Maths and Meaning. I watched 11 of his lectures on personality. I haven't finished that one yet. Um, but, and the first one he talks about tragedy and comedy. And, like, it made sense. And now I can read that chapter and it's like, ah, oh, it makes sense. Because comedy originally meant... It, it, it mostly meant tragedy was a bad ending and comedy was a good ending. And you basically... All movies have, like, a good or bad... Like, not bad as in, like oh, it's a bad ending, like, objectively, like, um, like, it's, a, like, the bad is in, like, oh, the main character dies, and then it's sad, like, yeah, or, you know, it's happily ever after, and so, now I understand that concept a bit better, it makes sense to me, and so, I re so I was making that, uh, I was going to make an essay on the tragedy and comedy but then I went back and tried making an essay on refining my essay on the first myth and dream first chapter and my essay was trash so I'm trying to rewrite it and then that's giving me a lot of headaches because it's a lot of a lot of simple problems like that I'm still trying to figure out it's taken like like, what is story? And, you know, the definition is so incredibly broad. And, like, what makes a good story? And then how do I link it all that together to make sense? Like, that's like an epistemo epistemological question. Like, oh, what is a story? Oh, woo-woo. Like, it's so hard to explain. Because it's like a, yeah, it's such a broad definition. It's an art. And so, try and define it in scientific terms is very hard um so yeah it was just messing with me I still haven't figured out how I'm going to write that first paragraph I'm going to rewrite everything I race rewrite the first essay um there's so much more I could do with that essay that I don't know what I'm going to do um, and yeah, I've been learning about, I've been watching a lot of, there's a few guys who are really into, um, like comparative mythology and religion on YouTube and they make like videos about, they're the only really video essays that I like and they talk about like the symbolism and all that stuff and I'm sort of getting into that and understanding it all and it's very cool. Um, so it's like, I just, I, I want a community of people around me that do that sort of stuff. I did join the Young Society of Melbourne, but they're basically, sh I, I paid $200 to join and become a member. And as soon as I do, like, I went to one of their meetings and then the next week it was like quarantine. So everything shut down. So like, hopefully this quarantine shuts down so I get like $200 worth of value, but let's see what happens. So that could be cool to talk to those people. 
Um, I haven't met a lot of them yet, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling a bit stuck because I'm like, I don't know how to approach this essay. But hopefully, I'll be able to like push in the right direction somehow. I, I, I can. Like, I feel like I can go through, I can, like, take someone who hasn't read Myth and Dream before and explain what the book's about and why it's important, why how it explains what makes a good story and what story is. I feel like I've done that. I, like, I stand up and I pretend to give a lecture about Myth and Dream and Joseph Campbell. And it, and it sounds pretty good. But when I try writing it down, I just hate every word that I write. And it all just comes together so stupid. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I might get an essay, like, writing teacher. But I'm not sure, about, like, with the quarantine, if I can do that. Maybe I can do it online. I looked it up, and they're all, like... It's all about how to get, like, an A+. Plus. A+, plus, like, how to, how to write good essays for school. And, like, I'm not doing it for school. I'm just doing it because I'm all right essays like John Peterson said like essay writing you know it's just writing is just a more refined thinking it's like a more refined version of thinking and yeah and I, I believe that like what you know I was talking about you know writing the paragraphs for Joseph Campbell's book you know like I actually feel like I understood that book so much more like I talked to people who said they read that book but like like they may have read it, but they don't know, like, even 1% of the information that's in there, you know? Even I don't think, like, I've read the word, well, once. But I've read, like, the first two chapters, like, five times each. And, like, even I don't think I understand, like, like, I understand, like, the, the, the structure of it, the bones. But, like, there's so much in there, like, yeah, I don't know. Now, I've read a bit of Jung. He's actually pretty easy. Some of the books are really easy to read. Originally, why I went to the Jung Society, I should probably end this video soon, but originally went to, when I went to the Jung Society, is like, I came across like just this stupid paragraph. It's just like, the paragraph made no sense at all. I could not freaking understand it, no matter what I did. So I, went to, I wanted to go to Jung Society to like, maybe people know how to interpret that for me. But, see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, please like the video. Or else, uh, you're gonna get coronavirus. Oh!